Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, students following the Edexcel spec should be able to describe what's meant by a heterogeneous catalyst. Students following the OCR spec should be able to describe what's meant by a heterogeneous catalyst and a homogeneous catalyst. In the last video, we saw that catalysts increase the rate of a reaction without being used up. Catalysts allow a reaction to take place via an alternative pathway, with a lower activation energy than the uncatalyzed reaction. This means that a greater proportion of the reactant molecules will collide with enough energy to cross the activation energy barrier and react. Now, a key idea you need to understand is that we can divide catalysts into two categories. These are called heterogeneous catalysts and homogeneous catalysts. A heterogeneous catalyst has a different physical state to the reactants, whereas a homogeneous catalyst has the same physical state as the reactants. Now, sometimes definitions use the word phase rather than physical state. But for A-level chemistry, we're going to treat physical state and phase as equivalent. We're going to look at heterogeneous catalysts first. I'm showing an example of a heterogeneous catalyst here. In the harbour process, the gases nitrogen and hydrogen are reacted together to form the gas ammonia. The catalyst in this reaction is iron, which is a solid. So as you can see, in this reaction, the catalyst is in a different physical state than the reactants. So this is an example of a heterogeneous catalyst. Now you need to be able to describe how heterogeneous catalysts work in terms of adsorption and desorption. In the first stage, the reactant molecules form weak bonds with the surface of the catalyst. Scientists call this first stage adsorption. Now you need to be careful here, this is adsorption, not absorption. In the second stage, the reaction takes place to form the products. And in the final stage, the product molecules are released from the surface of the catalyst, and scientists call this final stage desorption. Now, there are many examples of heterogeneous catalysis, and we often see reactions with gaseous reactants and a solid catalyst. However, we could also see heterogeneous catalysis with liquid reactants and a solid catalyst. Okay, now in homogeneous catalysis, both the reactants and catalyst are in the same physical state. I'm showing an example here. This is one of the reactions responsible for ozone destruction in the atmosphere, and we saw this in the organic chemistry topic. In this reaction, ozone is converted to oxygen, and the reaction is catalyzed by a chlorine-free radical. Both the reactant and the catalyst are gases, so this is homogeneous catalysis. Now this reaction illustrates an important point. In homogeneous catalysis, the catalyst reacts with the reactant to form an intermediate. The reaction I'm showing here actually consists of two stages. We can see the catalyst forming the intermediate in stage one. In stage two, the intermediate reacts again and the catalyst is regenerated. We'll see another example of homogeneous catalysis when we look at ester formation in a later topic. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe what's meant by heterogeneous and homogeneous catalysts.